Hello, today John's going to show you how to divide snowdrops up in the green so you'll end up with lots of lovely pearls around your garden during dreary February. Hello, I'm Melanie, one half of John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills. We'll show you how to take cuttings, how to do pruning, how to sow seeds and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning these skills, do consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to press the notification bell, which just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at snowdrops. Snowdrops are probably my favourite flower. I love them because they come up with these wonderful white blobs in February, a time when we're still in winter, we can still get very, very cold, but they'll come through all that and they will give us joy right until the green, proper spring flowers start to come. Uh, when we moved to this place here in Somerset, uh, there were lots of snowdrops already here. So over the years, what I've been doing is lifting them up, splitting them up, spreading them around, and that's now why we've got such a lovely display where you run through the garden. So today I'm going to show you how to lift them and how we can split them up and plant them back so that we can increase the display year on year. You, you can, of course, um, buy bulbs in the autumn, but to be honest, they're, they never do as well. They've been dried out from where, they, where they've been grown, really because of storage. I mean, you don't want to be sending damp bulbs. Uh, and they dry them out, that's not good for the snowdrop. The snowdrop likes to be moist all through the year. So uh, it, it's much better to, to, to do it like this. And also you know that they, these stocks come from uh, existing stock. You're not depleting wild stocks in Turkey or the Middle East where they come from. So let's go and find a clump and we can lift it up and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so this is, this is the clump that I've decided needs splitting up. It's got to quite a decent size now and I'm gonna break it up. I'm not gonna break it too small, um, but I'm gonna split it round. So we'll start off by going around and just lifting it gently. Um, I always use a fork. I think a fork is far less damaging. Spade cuts right through, whereas a fork, you get less damage to the roots. And as I'll explain in a minute, that's very important with, with snowdrops. So this one's coming up quite easily. There we are, let's get him up. And I'll do the other side. Um, there we are. Nice and loose there, that's a good one. It's nice when they come up well, isn't it? Here we are, pull them up gently. Whatever you do, try to avoid damaging the roots as much as you can. Now, I have a golden rule. Whenever I take out a clump of snowdrops, I find a couple of loose bulbs around the side. Now, I've broken that up already. I'll just put that clump back in. So that will go back in there, because in a few years' time, that'll be the same size as it was before. Put a bit of soil around it. There we are, nice and moist. Now, if it doesn't rain in the next two or three days, give it a drop of water because it set, settles the soil around the roots. Right, so now we've brought the snowdrops back to a more comfortable place to work, and I'm just going to break the, the clumps up. Now, what you need to remember with snowdrops is that once you've broken the roots, they don't regrow this year. So it's a good idea to do it either very early or very late. Uh, and if you do do it in the mid-season, as we are doing now, to try not to break them more than we can. So, whereas normally I'd use a couple of forks to shove it in and break them, I'm actually going to break them very carefully with my hands. I'm going to try and reduce the amount of damage to the roots. And out they come. That's not so bad, they're coming up quite nicely. And look, there's still quite a lot of roots on there, so that's quite good. Another way, of course, to reduce the amount of damage to the root is to not break them up too small. So I'm going to take them into clumps of about half a dozen like that, and then there'll be quite a lot of um, root to, to, to grow out there. That one I think I'll take down to another half a dozen. So that's, they're quite nice, uh, uh, nice clumps. And clumps this size, of course, uh, they won't do a lot next year. They'll be, they'll be recovering, but the year after they'll take off and you'll have a lovely show. And that one's going to take that down into one small one there, and another one there. We'll do the same with this one. Gently, gently, gently. Pull them out. That one's coming off on its own. I'll put that with that little small one to make it a decent size. And we we'll break this one up again. Gently, gently, gently. Gently, gently, gently. There we are. Out they come. Just tell them how lovely they are, and how they're going to be beautiful for years to come. There we are. 
Bring that one there. That one there. That one's come out quite nicely. One more break, and there's my work. There's only one in that one. Never mind, we'll put that one in. But there we are. At the same time, you can reduce the weeds, you can take out the rubbish, but we've got the grass growing around it. And there we are, ready to go. And I'll put that one in that small one to make them clump up. So we're ready to go. Well, you can see where I got to last year because the bulbs are, have come up. There's no flowers on that one, but there's still. But there's some nice patches here, and this is where I'm going to put in the rest of them. So, um, Try and dig a decent sized hole. A nice bit of soil there, that's the way I'll get them going. And down again. Nice bit of fresh soil here to go back around the roots. In they go, same sort of depth as they were before. Nice bit of soil around them. Much loose soil as possible, just a gentle firming. And there you are. Now, what we really ought to do, and it sounds awful, is to take the flowers off. Because the effort will then go into producing seed uh, as opposed to producing more bulbs. So I'm going to take those off and we will at least put them in water and we will enjoy them. Um, but next year, of course, we will have lots of flowers. These are old, these are old shoots. We'll take those off. Looks like the slug's got those. There we are, that's, uh, that's one done. And I've got just a few others to do, then I'll have a nice collection of snowdrops coming up over the years. Well, thank you so much. That's all for today, folks. We very much enjoyed having you here with us in our Somerset garden. If you enjoyed this, learning these things, do consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to press that notification bell. It lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.